Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make this sheet metal uh, practice example 15. Okay, we also have a drawing for this. So this is the drawing we have. So all the dimensions are given in mm and the bend radius, whatever it is. So we have to consider it as a 3 mm wherever it is not given. Okay, so let's get started with this model. And if you have any doubts, please comment in the section below. I'll try to answer. So now I will just go to new file and I'm going to select a sheet metal workbench. So I'll just go to model and select a sheet metal. I'll just click OK. So this will take you to a sheet metal workbench. And once we are into a sheet metal workbench, we are going to create a tab. So now what I will do is I'll just go to sketcher environment on this X, Y plane. OK. And I'll just select OK. So now you can see in the you know particular drawing we have a flange here with the 200 mm and 100 mm um, width. So let us draw a rectangle here, and this rectangle I'm just going to create with the dimension of 200 mm. Okay, so just get S for this, and now this dimension is going to be 100 mm. Okay. And once this is done, I'll just finish the sketch and I'll just go to tab and I'll just click OK. OK, so this will create a tab with a 3 mm of thickness. OK. Now, once this is done, I'm going to create a flange. So for that, I'll just go to flange here and I'm going to select this edge. OK, so here uh, the length is going to be 100 mm. So whatever you can see here, this is the 100 mm. So in since it is included with a tab, so 103. So we are going to give 100 mm length. OK. And then uh, the angle will be 90 degree and the bend radius is going to be um, 6 mm. And once it is done, you can just click OK. OK, so this is the flange we have got. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going into the sketcher environment for that particular sketch. So I'll just go to sketch and select this plane and I'll just go inside the sketch. OK, here I'm going to draw two lines. So this is the first line that start from here. OK, and this is the first line. And again, one more line from here. OK. So this will have 15 degree angle with a horizontal line. So let us give the dimensions here. So I'll just hit entire part and I'm going to select this edge, this edge. This is going to be 15. OK, and similarly, I'm going to give for this as well. So this is going to be 15. Anyway. So once this is done, I'm going to finish the sketch. So this is the sketch we need and I am going to trim this particular flange. So how we'll do that? We'll just go to normal cutout. OK, and select this sketch and click apply. Similarly, I'm going to select this sketch. And now you can see we need to remove this side and just click OK. OK, so now uh, I'm going to create a flange here on any one of the you know surface. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just go to flange and I'm going to select this face. OK. So once this face is selected, we have to give it in a reverse direction. So I'll just make it as a reverse direction. This is the flange that we are doing it now. You can see this is the flange and the radius is given as a 6 and the distance is 27 mm. OK, so what we do is uh, we have to make it outside. So in this case, I'm just giving it as a bend outside. OK. And now we have to provide a length as. So now we can see here uh, from this line, it is 27 mm. So what we are going to do is here in this case, I'm going to give the dimension from this edge. So for that, I'll just select the length reference as outside. OK, from the outside, it is going to be 27. OK, so once this is done, I'm going to click. OK, the radius is 6. OK, so now again we have a demi, you know, bend here, 90 degree bend and it is a 46 uh, you know, length. So we are going to grew that now. So just let me go to flange and select this particular length. 
and this whatever the bend is there it should be you can see here this flange already 26 mm we have given so whatever the bend it should come inside so now the bend is going outside so we just need to select bend inside okay so once it is selected and uh, the length is going to be 46 okay so the length i am going to provide is 46 mm and you can just click so once this is done again we have uh, one more uh, you know distance here so this i am going to give it as a 25 because once this so once this is done we are going to make a mirror of this particular model so for that what i'll do is i'll just go here and uh, i'll just select this flange and select this edge okay here also it will be radius of uh, minimum the bend radius should be six and uh, whatever the material should be inside okay and the length reference should be from outside okay so this is what we need and what we can do is the length is uh, going to be here now you can see this is the 50 mm which is not included from this so the whatever the length reference is going to be outside okay and this is going to be 25 mm and you can just click ok so once this is done uh, so we have multiple uh, you can see here cutouts so let us give that those cutout as well so what i will do is i will just give these cutout first okay so for that uh, we are going to sketch on this plane okay and now you can see here there are two rectangles with a 60 60 um, diameter sorry 60 mm of uh, so there are two rectangles here so that i'm going to draw it now so let me go to rectangle and this is the first rectangle and this is going to be my second rectangle and now let us give the dimension for this so this is going to be 60 okay and this is going to be 60 again and whatever the distance from here to here it is going to be 30 and whatever the distance from here to here it is again going to be 30 okay and these two lines should be collinear so i'll just go to select this line and this line i'll just make it as a collinear and this line this line i'm going to make it as collinear okay so now if you go to drawing you can see the distance here is 30 and whatever the depth is going to be 35 okay so the distance between this to this is going to be 30 and whatever this distance is going to be 35 okay so once this is done uh, we have uh, you know corner here so this corner i'll just assume it as a 10 mm so i'll just go to fillet and hit enter 10 mm and i'll just provide all the corners as 10 mm okay so once this is done our sketch is fully defined so i'll just finish this sketch and i'm going to make a normal cutout okay so this will remove the material from this and also we have you know um, cut out on this flange as well so we'll just move to that flange now so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just uh, go here and select this particular sketch from this plane okay now here we have to provide um, you know sketch so now you can see here all the information is given in this so whatever the distance between each uh, you know uh, cutout is 4.8 mm and whatever the cutout that has width of 5.2 mm and the distance here is 10 mm and the angle is going to be 15 which is already given okay so let us draw this so now what i'm going to do is i'll just uh, draw a line here so this is the line which is should be parallel to this line so let me make a parallel so this and this i'm going to select and make it as a parallel okay so the distance going between these to this is going to be 10 mm which is already given and then we have a line straight line here and then again one more line here which is parallel to this and then this line okay we'll just create a corner here so 
whatever this dimension is going to be 5 mm okay so now we can see here okay this is 5.2 so let us give 5.2 <coughs> And now from this edge to this edge, we have 10 mm. So we'll just provide 10 mm between these two, this. And also the length of this particular is going to be 74. So from this edge to this edge, it is going to be 74 mm. Okay, so once this is done, you can see our sketch is fully defined. And uh, now we can see here, we have one, two three four five six seven eight so eight numbers are there so the distance between uh, two will be 4.8 so i'm going to give that now so let me go to pattern and uh, i'm going to select this connected curves and along this direction should be in the opposite direction and the count should be six and the pitch distance is going to be 4.8 plus 5.2 okay so it should be 10 we can just click okay so actually there are eight numbers so let us go to the pattern again so i'll just go to pattern and i'll just make it as a eight okay eight num eight quantities are required okay similarly whatever we have here we need on the other side as well so let us draw that so i'll just draw a line first okay and uh, one more line so which is parallel to this so let us make this and this and this parallel to each other okay and uh, the distance here is you can see 10 mm so we'll just provide a 10 mm of distance here okay and uh, the distance between these two is going to be 5.2 mm okay and we have a line here so this is going to be our line and this should be uh, you know uh, collinear with this one so i'll just make collinear this and this okay so now we need a corner here so this is the corner we need similarly i have to do it on the bottom side also so i'll just draw a line and i'll just make this line this line collinear okay and then let us create a corner so this is the corner and this is the corner okay so now uh, you can see our sketch is fully defined so we need how many quantities we can just uh, go to here one two three four five six okay six quantities we need so we'll again just go to pattern curve and this time we are going to select this curve okay along this direction and we need a six quantities okay you can just click okay so once this is done uh, we have one rectangle here so let us draw that rectangle okay so this is the rectangle and this rectangle is also uh, with 34 mm and then it is parallel to other adjacents so what i'm going to do is i'll just give make this as a corner first okay and then this line and this line is going to be collinear okay and this length is going to be 34 okay and then these two lines should be parallel to these lines so let us make them parallel and this one is also let us make it as parallel okay so now once this is done so we need to make this you know at the center so i'm going to make it as a center here so i'll just give the dimension between this point to this point as 5.2 okay so once this is done we can just finish the sketch okay and then I uh, will just make a normal cutout for this. So we are going to trim the material. Okay. So once this is done, uh, we are left with only uh, mirroring the geometry. So what we will do is we will just go to mirror the geometry. So how we can do, we will just go to application and uh, modeling. And from here, I am going to go to mirror feature. So menu, insert, and then associative copy. And here you can see mirror geometry so now what i'm going to do is i'll just select this profile and i'm going to mirror it with 
this surface okay so once you click okay you can see your uh, profile your model is uh, ready now so and one more thing is suppose if you want to provide an edge blend here you can see this is the edge blend so that also you can just provide it to this model so how we can provide we'll just go to application and uh, sheet metal and here you can see the corner so this corner you can just select and this corner also you can just select and give it okay so this now you can see whatever the break corner we have created only on this side so you just make it on the top side so now your mirror geometry is also updated with your corner okay so this is how we can make this model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys